How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week two uh, here at the start of this season. 1-0, and looking right away for a blowout victory here against Virginia. As far as I can remember, they beat us last season. Uh, they weren't a great team last year overall-wise, player-wise, record-wise, but we still managed to slip and drop a game to these guys. So we're favored to win. We're sitting at number 11 in the country. Uh, I think this is our chance to crack that top 10, so we're going to hope for the best there. Of course, though, we got to take a look at ESPN and then do some recruiting afterwards before we play the game. So what I'm interested in is what kind of ranked matchups will we see? Michigan playing Cincinnati, uh, an interesting one there. Oklahoma, Ohio State. That's a very, very big matchup. Ohio State down at 24th in the nation, but... Uh, a big deal nonetheless. I guarantee you they're going to be high overall. Uh, Arizona State at 10 will play number 16, Cal. Florida will play number 20, Arkansas. So a lot of uh, big stuff going on there early. How about this Ohio State team? Only 93 overall. That's actually a surprise. And they start the season with a loss to Arkansas. So definitely not the start that Ohio State wants. Uh, curious to see what the problems are on why they have fallen uh, from that 99 overall range that I'm assuming that they were at earlier. So with our recruiting, I want to take a look here at the top guys. How many of these guys will we have a chance to pick up? Will Dixon seems like a monster with the 90 throw power. 81 accuracy is a little low, but still pretty solid. And he's fast as well. And we are looking okay against Illinois. Uh, Chris Douglas, we're kind of, who knows, we might be battling with uh, Penn State there. How about John? Falling off with John. So we'll go ahead and take our points away from him. Spencer Stanley, we're losing five a week against Georgia. We could come back here. We're down 520. They, the only reason they're up on us is the bonus points. Uh, but let's take a look at the bonus points. A- minus in conference prestige. That can go up. Uh, and championship contender can go up as well. So we're going to stick with it as long as we can here and hope for the best. Nick Pittman, we're looking good. Marcus Corbett is kind of a yikes. I don't think that we can come back there necessarily. And we look okay with Jeremy Callahan. Again, a ton of these guys, as there we might be able to fight against uh, Purdue and Alabama with Jeremy Harrison. A lot of these guys, I think that we'll have a solid shot up for. Uh, also, a lot of these guys. Alrighty, so without wasting any more time, let's play this one. Virginia, only an 84 overall team, 84 offense, 85 defense. So we have the massive edge there to uh, start this game off. And I tend to do this. It doesn't seem to work all the time. But until we lose on the road, we're going to wear the all white uniforms. Uh, Virginia, I think, has some pretty cool uh, setups they can go. I do really like the all navy. I think that we might go for it. Um, you know, make them stand out. And let's see. Can we get it done? A big win here could mean a lot for us. They do have some pretty solid players, so I imagine that they drop off on talent, kind of like we did in the past. 94 overall, 93-93 for a linebacker, a corner, and a left guard. Our top players again, running back, D-tackle, wide receiver, very similar there. Nobody injured on either side. Let's try to hope that it stays that way. And let's get into this one. It's our second game of the season. It's our second conference game of the season. So we've traveled north to Virginia to visit Scott Stadium and see what we can do here against Virginia. We're going to go, of course, with Tails. We win the toss, so we will elect to kick this one off. Um, start with the ball in the third quarter. And on this winless day, Frederick will get us underway with a boot a couple of yards deep into the end zone. And we'll see if the special teams is going to be anything. Pretty solid stop. Keeping them right there at about the 20. Oh, this is Willie Taggart's first game at Virginia. Well, hopefully we can start his tenure here with a loss. As I expect the defense to get it done. First and 10. They are going to step back to pass. Quarterback scrambling immediately. And we missed. Oh, my gosh. But Barack and Armstead with, uh, just got obliterated. I don't actually know if that's how you pronounce his name now that I think about it. Um, but I know he's a real player. I was curious last year about his, his why he's number 98, but I think it's something like his grandpa wore it. Unfortunately for him, I'm not sure that's going to help him in this game. Second and 13 after the big stop. 
on the run on second down. I'm stuck on a defensive lineman as we give up a pass over the middle for eight yards. So it's a third and six for us to try to hold as they'll step back to pass. Quarterback plenty of time, expecting him to throw it. He does, Manny Stokes. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? He stopped running and they score the touchdown. Just a walk-in 66-yarder. That is so brutal. Man, he should have been there. Maybe I hit uh, Y to try to intercept it, and he stopped moving. So, I mean, I guess that's on me, but that's a shame. Maybe Virginia just has our number. Getting into the end zone on the first drive with a big play. Big third down conversion. Now it's going to be time for us to come out on the field. Oh, my gosh. Marquise Jackson. Just showing the moves, getting us decent field position in that one. And we'll see if Radon Randell and the rest of the offense uh, can fire on all cylinders today as CJ Beasley just got cooked on that one. Ooh, he got clotheslined. Pickup of only a yard gives us a second and nine to deal with as we'll go to the air. Try to get outside the pocket. Let's throw the safe one. Give it to Braden Bennett. He breaks a tackle, gets the first down. And then eventually gets tackled. Really expecting this to be an easier game for us to move the ball compared to last week against Notre Dame. They're bringing the pressure. Can we get outside the pocket? Mm, probably shouldn't scramble for that one, but Radon came close to getting past that man. So I'd like to run more, but if they want to bring the pressure or show the pressure, we'll try to make them pay. CJ Beasley got a little spin move to get inside and upfield for three. Uh, how about we try the read option on this one? Uh, definitely a big risk this season of us picking up fumbles. Especially if I'm not sliding down in spots like that. Or I guess dropping fumbles, but I gotta take those risks, I think. Unfortunately for us, it is a third down here. Empty backfield for Radon. Looking over the middle. Had Marquise Jackson? Just missed him. Fourth and five, we gotta go for this. I mean, I understand realistically we don't have to go for this, but it certainly feels that way. I'm going to, and we'll roll right on outside the pocket. Wise open. He's no longer open. Glad I didn't throw that one. Still on his feet. I was trying to slide down, but I'm glad we didn't. And I'm glad that he didn't fumble the ball. The 31-yard pickup. Uh, I got to be a lot better about getting him down on those plays. That's for sure. Just like Marquise Jackson is on special teams, it seems like Radon could be potentially, you know, lightning in a bottle for this offense. I just have to make sure that we contain it, you know, at least a little bit more than I have so far. And also, I got to learn to maybe trust his arm. He's got to show me it, though. Looking for DJ Johnson. Corner of the end zone, and he's got it. That was a great pass. Great route ran from the tight end in DJ Johnson, and we will strike back. It took us a lot longer than it took Virginia, but nice methodical drive for us on that one. So all tied up, 237 left in the first quarter. Let's see if uh, the defense wants to show up for an entire series this time out. Special teams still doing a pretty decent job. And we're going to try a little bit of a blitz on this first down. Now, I am a little bit worried. Oh, they go with the screen. I was late to react to it. Kale Mackey there to slow it down. And thankfully, we only give up three yards. But I am certainly worried about Armstead, this quarterback, and his ability to scramble. He's a very quick player. So we're going to be in the spy on this play as they will hand it off up the middle. And Sidney McCray was there to get the stop, but he breaks free. And Phil Brooks just broke a couple of tackles and just shot through the line for 17. That was impressive. Strong running from the running back as he's got a touchdown there. Manny Stokes may be able to catch him. It doesn't look like it. How about Phillips? No, nobody can get to him. The diving tackle comes too late. And it's two incredibly massive plays for Virginia on their touchdowns. We got to limit that. Uh, that took like, what, 30 seconds on the drive? That is unacceptable. Well, number 22 Cincinnati is up 10-0 on the number one Michigan team. So if we can manage to win our game and Cincinnati can do the same, that could be good news for us. All right, very returnable kick for Marquise on this one. Blocking looking pretty good in Marquise Jackson. Unless there's a penalty is gone, nobody's going to be able to catch him. Down the sidelines he goes, and two games into the season, he already has two special teams touchdowns, and the defense is going to get the chance to come right back out onto the field. 
A 99 yard kick return there. Hopefully we don't give up the same thing. Special teams has been pretty solid and they're just going to elect to take the touchback and start from the 25 this time out. And we got to figure out something with this defense. Uh, the running game has been pretty phenomenal so far as the quarterback's going to scramble or look to scramble and we get to Armstead behind the line for a loss of four. Those are the plays that I love to see from the defense. Just uh, get to the quarterback before he can do anything, make him panic and just a simple man coverage. Although this one could be dangerous. Phillips missing the diving tackle and my gosh, Phil Brooks is having himself a game so far. Just so many big pickups already as this one is blitz. It's going to be on the counter and oh, thank goodness he went down initially broke the tackle, but then fell. And it just feels like at this point that we can get them into a third down and then we struggle from there. And look at the blocking again and the broken tackles again. Phil Brooks is averaging 20 yards a carry. It's time for us to bring the heat. We cannot allow this guy to run this successfully against us quarterback rolling out of the pocket hit as he's thrown but somehow finds a man 20 more yards had a guy in the area he just couldn't do anything and thank goodness we get bailed out by their offensive line false start gives us a chance to breathe and it also backs them up a little bit they're gonna look to pass on this one trying to defend the late corner we do Coverage holds another sack for the defense, second and 21 now. So let's bring out the nickel and see if we can slow these guys down. They are going to run the ball. The blocking again continues to be phenomenal. Thankfully, he, he got eight yards, but just uh, they're so far back. It's a big third down. We could hold them to a field goal. They're going to go with the slip screen. I can't imagine three of those guys get their tackles broken. And finally, we will get the stop. Um, as the first quarter comes to a close. 14 all. Armstead 5 of 5 through the air for almost 100 yards. Some stupid, stupid plays from the defense has allowed Virginia to really just uh, take control of this game early, but we're fighting back. It's not the longest field goal we've seen as they'll be kicking it, uh, well, snapping it from the 21, but we're going to put Marquis back to our turn just in case. And now this kicker has more than enough lag behind it. So they will get the three points. Is, oh, how great would it be if Georgia lost to Kent State? Uh, we'll see if that one holds true. And I wouldn't mind it if the offense just didn't have to come out, out onto the field for the rest of the half. Maybe Marquise takes back-to-back. -back. You never know. Crazy things have happened in this series. Marquise has the corner, but great angles taken from the rest. Another good return, though. Uh, we're going to take a chance with Marquise. I'm not sure Radon has the greatest arm under him. I sent him deep. A was open. I saw it too late, but no. Malcolm Williams just finds a little gap in the zone and comes down with it for 20. Great news when the play works that well for us. And we'll go read option again here. Radon. Let's just slide down there. Take the five yards that they're giving us. Try not to risk a fumble or an injury. <laughs> we're getting outgained in total yards. 222 to 94. Special teams has really helped us with that as we'll go to Brayden Bennett, the running back. Quick little pass for 10 yards. Well, we're moving the ball well. This bubble screen, I feel like, could work pretty well. Blocking, not the best, though. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm happy to get positive yards out of it, though. Let's try a run. I see they're bringing the safety up. Maybe it would be a chance to throw it, but we're just gonna stick to our guns and run the football and... We got ourselves a third and short. Definitely in field goal range, but we want the touchdown. We got to take advantage of their offense being unable to score as we will go empty set to throw. And there's Malcolm Williams coming down with it. Good throw again and another good route. And that gives us the first and goal. So we convert the third down. And now we've got a chance to pick up the touchdown. Run it up the middle to CJ Peasley. Uh, I don't like that play. It might come out of the playbook. Just too slow to get going. How about we try the counter now on this second and goal. Blocking is nowhere to be found. And Braden Bennett loses five yards. So it is still third and goal, but we are 12 yards outside the end zone. I'm throwing a really difficult one. I'm lucky. So, so lucky that didn't get picked off. Not the route I was expecting him to run. And now we have to settle for a field goal, so... 
Hope that the kick is good. It looks good. Ooh, a little bit too close to the left for my liking, but we tie it up again and three minutes left in the half. Maybe the defense can finally get a stop. Last thing we need is for Virginia to run down the clock and then score. We do get the ball to start the third, but I want the lead going into the locker rooms. Curious to see if they're in a bit of a hurry up offense yet or not. And it doesn't quite look like it. Man, their counters have been unstoppable today. Absolutely unstoppable. I really just want to bring all the pressure in the world, but I don't think it's wise as this one's a play action. Quarterback having to really run around, throws it away. First in completion for Armstead. And we'll see. Can we stop the pass? No, it's another counter. And we're there finally getting the stop. Man, that's probably the shortest run for Phil Brooks today. Realistically, I know it's not, but it certainly feels that way as, oh my gosh, wide open. He stepped out of bounds. I hope that they don't look at this because that looked into me. Refs won't buzz down to review it. So fourth and eight, we got bailed out by the wide receiver on that one. Just couldn't get a foot inside uh, the field of play. And now Marquise gets a chance to return and he's already taken a punt to the house this season. And he's making guys look foolish out there. 51. Wow, speed demon out there. Got to him, couldn't get the tackle, but slowed him down enough. Unfortunately for Virginia, we get to start inside their territory with two minutes, over two minutes in all our timeouts. And we have Raiden Randell, who's just moving. And that's going to be a potentially one-point touchdown. Does he have the speed? He does. Raiden with one of his first big plays is the quarterback at the helm of this team. And how about the downfield blocking on that read option? Takes it to the house, and we finally take the lead. This game has seen a crazy number of big play touchdowns already, and we're not even to halftime yet, so I'm curious to see what the rest of it holds in store for us. Great job gunning down there. And again, we put Virginia in bad field position to start a drive. First in 10. Got to expect that they're passing at this point. It's an option. Out towards the edge, it's pitched away, and... Maybe the safe decision so the quarterback doesn't take the hit, but they actually lose yards because of it. And we're just going to continue to rely on the man coverage. I got to feel like at this point, you know, we should have the talent levels to win out there as Armstead gets popped at the original line of scrimmage. Lucky that that tackle happened because otherwise he had a lot of space and a lot of speed. So let's see if we can hold these guys and maybe get a chance to open this one up before halftime. It's going to be a handoff. And they're going to get more than just a first down. Oh my goodness, it's just, it's killing me. How can they so consistently pick these up as try to bring pressure on the quarterback? Kale Mackey gets beat, but thankfully, man, he's guarding, drops the pass. I feel like that might have been the running back, so maybe not the best hands on him, which is good news for us as he'll step back to pass. Quarterback scrambling, shakes off the first tackle. We get him the second time, and I'm taking a timeout. I want plenty of time here when we stop him. And trust me, third and 10 here. We're getting the stop. Got to have supreme confidence in the team. Quarterback <laughs> spinning in circles, doing 360s in the backfield. He finally gets sacked. We got to take another timeout. <laughs> And of course, that means we get Marquise Jackson back to return. Always so excited to see what we get out of uh, a punt return from him. And the blocking is pretty solid to begin with. Makes another man miss, picks up the edge, and Marquise Jackson in a foot race for the end zone, and he's going to take it. His second special teams touchdown of the game. His second punt return for a touchdown of the season. And wow. Lightning in a bottle. Nothing else. Cincinnati. Touchdown lead over Michigan late in the third. Still a chance for the Wolverines to lose. Still a chance for them to come back too. And I'm curious to see now. Does Virginia still try to score? Or are they just going to try to get into the locker room and figure out what went wrong there? Uh, could return that time for him. Randy Mueller gets 30 yards on it. And let's see if we can just prevent them from doing anything too crazy. They will step back to pass over the middle. Quarterback's going to scramble, and we get him with a big hit there. And then we got five yards. So let's see what we can do now. Second and five. They bring the tight end in motion, and they did take a timeout on the last play, so I wouldn't be surprised 
If they're trying to pick stuff up, third and six, though, I'm going to take the timeout. It will hurt if they run the ball because they'll just be able to go to the half. But if they pass and we get the incompletion, we could be looking real good. Quarterback scrambling and we get the stop fourth and five. So the clock's just going to be able to burn out on this one. Maybe should have saved the timeout. Who knows? Maybe they'll be dumb enough to punt the ball away to Marquise again. It would be foolish. And okay, they're not as dumb as they could be. They let it burn down to zeros. And at the half, we're up 31-17, getting the ball, trying to show that we belong in the top 10. Uh, solid half. Defense struggled early, started to figure it out there. Hopefully they can continue that into the third quarter. Uh, just broken plays allowed Virginia to take control of the game early. Uh, but as far as the first half goes, all good with me. And hey, while we're here, thank you guys for the support recently. It means the world to me. Uh, you know, the if you want to support the channel, easiest things you can do besides just watching is hit the video with a like so that more people can see it and maybe hit a subscribe. Let's see. I'm going to say you, you will have to do that if Marquise Jackson can take this to the house. Already two special teams touchdowns for the man. Doesn't look like he's going to get this one, but breaks the tackle. And, oh, man. Still came close. Uh, let's, let's score a touchdown on this drive for sure. Looking to pass five wide on this first down. And X over the middle. Maybe we can find him. Oh, my gosh. How did Tyson Mobley come down with that ball? Phenomenal catch from him. So, right on Randell. Now 7-9 on the day, which is pretty solid, as we'll hand this one off up the middle, and try to let Beasley get forward for a decent chunk. Six yards there puts us over 100 as a team on the day. And I'm going to send Marquise deep. If this safety gets caught out, he could burn his man. We'll see. Tough throw. Didn't really mean to make it. Oh, my gosh. Malcolm Williams almost got there. I didn't mean to throw on the run. It might have helped us. That was a dangerous one. And it forces a third down for us. So uh, sometimes the decision making is still a little bit suspect. Can we pick this up? Uh, hopefully. Third and four. Look into the air. Y was kind of open right. Bumpers up and late. It's DJ Johnson. He's got it in. Great footwork there to stay in bounds and give us the new set of downs to work with. So far, the bad passes that we've had from Radon in this game have been largely my fault, which is great news. Looking for the run, and of course, we got to slide down on the option keeper when it looks dangerous, so good eight yards there. And we'll see now what we can do. Again, looking to pass, waiting, be over the middle, should be safe. Marquis got it. Only four yards, but it is a first down for us. That was just me being late to see the throw, so... Definitely my bad as this one, another handoff, trying to get upfield with CJ Beasley. Their defensive line is either really good or our offensive line is having a struggle today because they're stopping the run. That just means it's really good news that we've been able to uh, pass the ball as we're going to try the jet sweep with Marquise and there's just nowhere for him to go. Got stuck on the blockers as well and it's third and long for us now. Let's see what kind of throw... We can get out of raid on on this one as we're looking maybe towards the end zone. It's intercepted. Malcolm Williams gets the tackle, thankfully. Just ball thrown a little bit too short for that. Needed it to be higher so that only he could get to it. Good interception. And uh, great, you know, defense uh, from Virginia there. I don't know. That sentence might have made sense. Uh, well, starting from the 11, we're going to bring pressure here. Expecting the run. We're going to string a, a ton of pressure. And, well, we're going to hit the running back in the backfield. But he's still going to get three yards. That's brutal. Never feels good to bring that big of a blitz and then just get shrugged off as that time. Thankfully, Sidney McRae is there to make the tackle. And he's going to get that nine times out of ten. So we have Virginia in a tough spot where they're going to have to pass. And their quarterback's going to have to throw it up. Man, he got beat on one of these earlier. And he gets beat on this one as well. Just not quite fast enough. They get 50 yards. Jimmy Ray has only gotten two catches on the day, but they've been massive ones on just go routes where he burns his man. As the quarterback's going to scramble, he's got way too much room. Kale Mackey might be able to get there. I'm going to try to strip this ball every time this quarterback scrambles from here on out. We got to figure something out for sure. As this one's a run up the middle. A lot of space. The gap closed. Manny 
has his tackle broken, so does Taylor, and finally he goes down. These guys move the ball at ease when they start to cook. It's just like they find a rhythm, and there's nothing we can do to slow them down. This time a run. Jenkins again bowled over. Thankfully, we get there to get the stop and force the third down, but that's tough. If they pass for this, good for them. We're bringing the blitz. Can't allow them to run the ball, and we get in there and break it up and force the fourth down. We win in gauge eight, and the gamble paid off. So it appears that our turnover on the opening drive of the half is only going to turn into three points for Virginia. Still gives us a two-score lead. And we will need to hold on to the ball for the rest of this game. If we want to feel confident in winning this one, we had a chance to go up three scores, so I don't like when that happens. I do like when this happens. Marquise Jackson, if there's no penalties, there might have been one late. He's down the sideline and diving into the end zone. This man is on a mission today. The blocking has been phenomenal. The refs might have missed one here from DJ Johnson, but oh my goodness. That is just ridiculous. Oh, wow. They have to feel so bad about how their special teams is playing. It's because they would be in this game most likely, if not for the fact that Marquise has returned three kicks today. You would think at this point they would just go for the kickoff out of bounds and take the penalty because it's not going well for them so far. Good job stopping the run from the line that time. We're going to try a little zone blitz on this one. Second and two. Not nah, back out of it. They're looking to pass. They're looking to run with the quarterback. And he does get a yard, but it's third and long now. So things have gotten maybe progressively worse for this Virginia team as stepping back to throw. Decent coverage, but it's the tight end McMillan getting open late there, and he gets found easily. Third catch of the game for the tight end at this point. We're going to try to bring the pressure. i expecting the run. It is a run. Sidney McRae there to slow it down, and Jenkins finishes it off. We hold him to a loss of three. At this point in the game, we are just a couple of plays from the defense from turning this one into a blowout, you know? So many, uh, so many opportunities for us to shut them down, and they've been converting. And we've got another opportunity here. Third and 13. They go five wide. Armstead gets sacked. Oh, was that Sidney McRae? I think it was coming off the edge. First sack of the game. Third tackle for loss. And we're going to head into the fourth quarter, getting the ball back. They're going to have to punt this one to Marquise Jackson, who has been such, such a danger to them so far today. So to start this fourth quarter off, could we do it again? Looking for special teams touchdown number four on the day. Oh my gosh, if the blocking is just a little bit better. Marquise was so close. Oh, if I make the kicker miss, he's gone. Oh my goodness. This is just something else on the day. Let's try the play action. Remember, got to hold on to the football. And X is open. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Meant to throw it to X. We threw it to A instead. I had a little you know playstation xbox button mishap thank goodness that one worked out for us let's run the ball here cut it back take our three yards let's look for a passing touchdown is marquise gonna be open marquise might have been open be in the back of the end zone tyson mobley completely unguarded uh you know sometimes i miss those reads thankfully not this time right on 11 of 15 with an interception there but adds a touchdown or another one and 45-20. This game's getting out of hand for Virginia in a hurry. Oh, they did it. The Bearcats of Cincinnati upset number one Michigan to kick off their season 27-24. That is huge news for us. You absolutely love to see it. As, uh, well, we can probably expect with a win here now to be a top 10 team. We'll try a blitz on this first down. Quarterback stepping back to pass. Has a guy wide open. It's the tight end, McMillan, again. He breaks a tackle. A lot of space. Breaks another tackle. Still on his feet as he breaks another one. Are you kidding me? We just let a tight end go 75 yards for the touchdown. And again, Virginia has an incredibly long play to score. That's a tough one to give up. Strong running there, though. Well, they are going to go into the... Or, 
So they're going to try the onside. Didn't know if they were planning on it or not, which means we don't have our hands team on the field. But Franklin's got it. No fumbles. Beautiful. So we've got the ball back in the fourth quarter. Maybe time to burn the clock out. But also, we could just continue to score. And with the pressure they're showing, we're just going to send them deep. See what happens. See if the offensive line can hold long enough because Marquise Jackson is wide open. One play into the end zone and we've increased our lead again. You know, not a great thing to do if we're trying to get out of this game quickly and secure the victory. But I mean, come on. How can we pass up that opportunity? Is it too early to start the campaign? for the Heisman. I want to see it in the comments. Hashtag Marquise for Heisman because this man is just an absolute animal. Let's see if the defense can uh, force a punt so that he has another chance to take one back. All right. They're going to step back to pass. He's going to scramble. Trying to force the fumble and we do, but it's freaking the tight end McMillan. He comes up with it. We almost got the turnover. Instead, it's a first down for him. They got like 12 yards, which is pretty brutal. Uh, a lot of our defense feeling pretty on fire. Quarterback scrambling again and again, trying to strip the ball, but just can't do it quite in time. When this quarterback feels the pressure, he dips out in a hurry, which could be great news for us, but we haven't been great. Here he goes again, breaking another tackle, almost getting stripped again. I could feel it. So close to popping free. Still got the sack though. So we've got him in the third down. Can we get the stop? Uh, that was a weird screen. And it looks to me like we can get the stop fourth and nine. I'm curious if they go for this or they just kind of wave the white flag and punt it away. And it will be a punt. And Marquise will be back to return. Oh, I, I just don't think it's going to happen again. But I got to stay committed in trying. Fairly returnable ball if the blocking can be good enough. Oh my gosh, just the kicker to beat already. Marquise Jackson in a foot race down the sideline. And Marquise, for the fourth time in this game, finds the end zone via the special teams. Two kickoffs, two punts, and he's got a touchdown receiving. I'm losing my mind here. I just, I'm at a loss for words at this point. It's the single greatest Teal Boy performance that we have seen so far in this dynasty nobody has had a better game in the i think five seasons that we've been going just total domination the defense has helped quite a bit in just forcing those punts and you know what i want another one if they can't stop us from returning punts i'm gonna continue to force them to punt the ball to us kind of curious they run the ball there and then come out in the hurry up so We'll see, is that just the game plan now? Good throw out to McMillan, who has already made us look silly once today. And who knows, maybe it's a new era for this team. But 59 points is very, very high for us. As we will, uh, I don't know, maybe look to break 60. I, I might have to run the score up. This is definitely a bit of a revenge game for us. After they beat us last year in... Hurt our chances of making it to the playoff. We ended up fine in the end, but it got scary for a bit there. And Virginia just going on a rampage so far in this drive. This one's going to be a handoff that will meet at the line of scrimmage for a good stop. I might have to take my timeouts if we want to uh, get the ball back. We'll see. What can we do? This one, another handoff. We're there to get the stop. Third and 11. Just one more play and we can force them. Unfortunately, probably not to punt it, but... Force them to give us the ball. Only 4 of 11 on third downs on the day for Virginia. Not the greatest that we've seen for sure. Quarterback has a man, but, well, missed him by a mile. So we get the stop on fourth down, or on third down. And we will need to get the stop on fourth down because Virginia is going for it. They say, screw punting. <laughs> we might as well go. It's probably a lower chance. It's a turnover on downs. I accidentally took a timeout afterwards, but... We get the ball back with a chance to hit 60. And the fans here are booing the home team after the failed fourth down conversion. Uh, you got to feel for them. It's just not been a good one for their team. 
Likely just going to run this one out. Still looking for points, but we don't want to get too greedy. And right on Randall for the second time, this game is gone. And this team is on fire. Finally, we're having a game against a lower overall opponent where we put them in the dirt. And there's 66 points after this extra point. Uh, I mean, that's a lot of boost that we're hearing right now from the fans. Only a minute and 15 left in the game. They got to think that we're running the score up. And you know what we are. That's what happens when you beat us. We come back the next year and try to do everything we can to put you into the uh, into the grave. And I wish that I had that timeout because I'm looking for another one, honestly. Uh, we're going to try to force them to punt the ball away. Any chance that we can. They're running this one. We're bringing the blitz and we're stopping them for a loss. Really, really curious to me that they are... Still uh, running the ball and then going into the hurry up. This one's a play action. Uh-oh. Look who it is. Freaking Cedric McMillan. He's having himself a game, all things considered. So we definitely haven't covered him well enough. This run. Good for a couple. Under a minute to go now. And I'm just going to continue to bring the safety blitzes because at this point, why not a run up the middle? Got him in the third down. Might be able to get this punt after all. We will bring the pressure. Hopefully it gets there in time. Not covering this tight end again. Could be dangerous. It's a run. Oh, great cutback. And we don't want to give up the points. But we do get the stop. This is a battle to see which team decides to, to quit playing the game first. As they have just uh, continued to pick up these yards and stay in the hurry up. And with 13 seconds left, they'll step back to pass. Quarterback throws it away and complete its third and nine. Who knows? Maybe we get the punt after all. I would love for the uh, the D line to pick up a sack on this play, but they're just going to run it up the middle. We'll take the timeout and we'll see what they do. And it is the punt formation. Fourth and 11. If we can return this with Marquise, I'm going to got to hope for the best. No, it's not even Marquise. He's too tired to return it. And they're going to punt it out of bounds anyways. So with two seconds left, we'll bring out the offense in the victory formation and take the knee, let the clock hit triple zeros and walk out of here with a massive, massive win, 66 to 27. And oh my gosh, Marquise and Radon had themselves one heck of a day. 546 all-purpose yards and five total touchdowns for the wide receiver in return, man. Oh, wow. So not only did we win, the number one team in Michigan lost. And look at that. They actually, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of unsurprising, but they uh, outgained us offensively. They had more rushing yards and more passing yards, but that's because our offense spent half the game, way over half the game on the bench. We only had 10 minutes on our time of possession uh, because the special teams just continued to score. Offensive player of the game is obvious with Marquise. Defense, it's Kale Mackey. Uh, I don't know if I believe that. It's because he has the forced fumble, so the game likes it. But we had a bunch of sacks. I would have probably given it to a defensive lineman. Uh, but congrats to Kale anyways. So we move to 2-0 and on this season. We get one of our highest margins of victory ever. And I'm assuming as we head towards this one where we'll go on the road to play Syracuse again, we don't have a home game until week six where we play that Cincinnati team that just beat Michigan. So uh, we will uh, prepare for our road trip in week three, hoping to be a top 10 team. And there it is, number eight in the country. So a couple of teams up in that top 10 must have lost. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um... Seems like could have been a decent amount. We actually don't even jump Michigan. They're sitting at the number seven spot. So there must have been a decent amount. Number seven, Oklahoma did lose to Ohio State, who jumps up to number 20. Arizona State loses. We see Oregon at number six, losing to Wyoming by a field goal. You hate to see it as a Ducks fan. It's a bad loss. Arkansas, after uh, their big week one win, has lost to Florida, who jumps up to number nine. And uh, Pittsburgh, Miami, and LSU all drop out of the rankings. So, some crazy stuff happening early. Um, what do we got going on? Championship contender rating. Are we up to an A-plus yet? No, we're nearing it. We are just at that A. 
two spots off. If we can get to the A+, plus, that will help us tremendously in our recruiting, and this should be cool. Player of the Week, I think it's Marquise as the NCAA Offensive Player of the Week for Week 2. Um, what about the ACC? Guy from Syracuse, so we're in for watch out for Derek Koch as uh, well, we're going to have to go into his home turf, and could the chance of that game be enough to bump him up? Oh, there it is. Marquise Jackson for Heisman. Oh, man, 92 overall as a redshirt junior, and he's made it up onto the board. Look at this. This is crazy. Six catches and a touchdown already, 120 yards this season. Um, only nine yards after catchers are pretty crazy, but it's the, well, not the blocking. We don't care about the blocking. He has a little bit of rushing stats, one yard for, or one attempt for a loss of two, but how about the kick return and punt return? Seven kicks returned for two touchdowns, which is just a ridiculous conversion rate. Um, averaging 46 yards per return, which is insane. And eight punts returned for three touchdowns. He has five return touchdowns in two games. I have never seen a player start a season quite like that. Uh, we got to be favored to win this one. Syracuse is a B plus, so they'll be a, probably a high 80 overall team. Definitely one that we should win. Hopefully one that we dominate. They beat Temple... Relatively close game, 45-34. We'll hope that uh, we can just get it done. Go up there and just get the win. Um, I don't know if it's going to match <laughs> this one, though, in terms of uh, scoring efficiency. Unfortunately, though, that's going to have to wait till the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, uh, you know, hit the like button, please. Maybe subscribe if you want to be notified when these videos get posted. And in the comments, I want to see the hashtag Marquise for Heisman. Got to get the, uh, the Heisman campaign started early. And I'm curious to see if he can keep up the momentum that he started with. But while you're down there doing all that, like, you know, comment, subscribe, the usual things that you get asked to do. If you want to head to the description, you can find links for my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, as well as links to my Twitter, our community Discord, and as always, the College Football Revamped mod, if you're trying to get it for yourself. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster, you guys are the Teal Boys, and wherever you are, have a good night, or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios!